Ahoy, Captains! Spring is in full bloom, and we can't wait to share all the changes, improvements, and content additions in this update. Prepare for the new Planet Clash event, a loyalty reward program with plenty of gifts, new rank seasons, and more. Starting with the campaign ship of the update, Carl the 14th Yuhan is a pan-European battleship at Tier 8, and she's a brawler that can use long-range torpedoes similar to the pan-European destroyer line. She's most efficient against cruisers thanks to the fast reload of her guns and her secondary range, and she can handle battleships well with wise use of her torpedoes. Besides that, she has sonar to help battle against destroyers. There are lots of rewards on your way to obtaining the final campaign prize. You can receive bureau points, a commander, Japanese cruiser crates, and a lot more. Set sail and start your journey next Monday. This update marks five years since the open beta release of our game. What a voyage it has been. Plenty of rewards are planned for our devoted captains. Some of them will be delivered to your account after obtaining a special free in-game bundle, while others can be received after completing a special mission within the same bundle. Talking about the new cruiser line, Agano, Gokusei, Omono, and Shimanto. Japanese beauties ranging from tiers 4 to 7 are coming to early access, boasting powerful torpedoes typically associated with destroyers, good speed and concealment, plus the defensive AA fire consumable to avoid plane attacks from above. You can add these cruisers to your port after opening the new Japanese cruiser's crates. The Japanese cruiser's big crate features a guaranteed drop mechanic for early access cruisers. A nice addition to these crates is that they also offer you an opportunity to receive Tier 6 premium cruiser, Maya. A tanky cruiser with a huge HP pool, main battery reload booster, a repair party, and deadly torpedoes. In addition to the ships themselves, we prepared a stylish black and white camouflage to make them stand out on the battlefield. Check out the store to get these camouflages. And what's a new ship without an effective commander standing behind it? Matsuji Ijui, a decorated naval officer, can be obtained via a new dedicated calendar. He's a perfect match for the new cruisers with this very fun feature for lovers of torpedo shooting, a special legendary skill called Killing Distance. It makes your torpedoes a more serious threat to enemies. The longer your torpedoes run underwater, the more damage they inflict on your opponent. Obtain him throughout the three-week calendar with two more weeks to catch up so you can enter the next update prepared. Our space-themed event comes with a new fun game mode, new commander guises, plus new ship skins and ships to accompany your journey. For three weeks starting next Monday, dive into our special themed event from the main menu to enter a cosmic port and battle in the new fun mode. We'll reveal the rules in a dedicated video at the start of the update. Starting from the fourth week of the update on April 16th, we begin the first of two new ranked battle seasons, featuring five versus five matches for battleships and cruisers with only one destroyer allowed per team. There's also one more great piece of news for hardcore players who have some steel saved in the stash. Japanese Tier 8 battleship Dyson makes her entrance into the legendary waters and can be acquired for steel from the start of the update. A few quality improvements in our game are what keep the fun going, right? In this update, we've added fleet call signs near nicknames in battles and leaderboards. For those of you looking for brothers in arms, we've included the looking for fleet button in the main menu to indicate that you're open to invitations. Make friends during battles on our legendary seas. A significant number of balance changes have been made to various ships in the game. The Italian destroyer line and French large cruiser line, plus some battleships have been improved. Take a look at the balance changes article and see for yourself. Moreover, some spawn points on large maps have been revised for more dynamic battles. Jump into battles on the maps Shatter, Haven, and Trap. In this video, we revealed only a part of what's coming this spring. Buckle up, because next season promises to be even hotter on our legendary waters. Leave your opinion in the comments on how you like this update. Get your console or mobile device ready for next week and turn the tide.